What's up, everybody? As y'all can see, I'm in my bathroom right now. Um, it's gonna get a little dirty in here and messy whatnot because I'm gonna show y'all how to make a homemade tattoo prison gun. Um, as you see, I got my candle going already. Um, I used the bottom of a soda can, some toilet tissue rolled up as the wick, and some uh, Murray's hair grease. You know, you can use lard or whatever it is you want to use, but for me, I use that because you don't want to be using lighters due to the fact these go for ten to twelve dollars. I've seen people pay eighteen bucks for these. So we always make candles or whatever; it's easier. But um, you know, there's different ways. You know, people use for their needles, they use springs out of pens, springs out of staplers, they use bread ties or whatever. For me, I always used to take the stapler spring in the school building or wherever I come across the stapler. Anytime you see a spring, you know, you get it or whatever. And then um, what you want to do is, I already did it actually, which I could pop this actually. I could pop this off. I'm going to just show you all real quick is um, you're gonna wanna grab both ends of the spring and um, you know, you're gonna wanna make a, a nice decent needle, which as you see, boom, I made a nice one, okay? But the whole reason for the candle, which I'll show y'all one time real quick, is you're gonna wanna grab both ends of this it's always better to have two pairs of um, toenail clips instead of one. And you go like this back and forth through the fire to stretch the spring out, you know? And when you, while you're doing this, it's gonna, it's gonna stretch it out real good so you can make a needle. You get a couple needles per spring by how much it stretches out. And um, you don't wanna leave it in one spot too long because it, it will break, you know? So you just go like this. Stretch it on out. Okay. As you see, I got another needle. There's another one. Okay. So, now that I have the needles done, let me go ahead and boom. I'm going to go ahead and put this candle in the sink. We won't need that no more. You know, just to be safe on the safe side. Go ahead and put the candle out because the needles are done. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move on to, you know, you got your average beard trimmer. This is what you use to trim beards with or whatnot. I already took the screws, loosened it, so that way I could just show y'all, you know. Um, this is the, this is your body right here. This right here is your, is your, is your standard which it comes in a lot of trimming trimmers or anything you basically are looking for. You know, that, that this is basically the same thing in every one of them you get, okay? So, what you wanna do now is, now that you have this, you have a positive and a negative, okay? Me, I took a part of a charger, which is right here, which you can also use the headphones. We used to take the wires out of the headphones. Um, and I took the wires out of here, as you can see, took a red and a black out of here. And um, of course the, the, the candle will come in handy again because you would burn the tips of these, which I already did that too. You would actually burn the tips of these, of the wires, okay? And then what you wanna do is, is right here, is you wanna go ahead and wrap the wire around this prong as you can see, put the wire around this prong right here. And um, so you don't want to worry about that coming off. So you don't want to have to worry about that coming off. What I used to do is, is I take a pen like this and my scissors, which I don't know where the hell they went. What the fuck? But anyways, you can use the toenail clippers. And uh, you want to clip a piece of the back of this off right here. It's just, it, it's easier like that or whatever. So it'll look like this. Which is just a little piece. And then you want to stick that over here. You know, you might have to bite to flatten it. 
like this just so it'll fit over the side of this you know and these things can get tricky like anyone who does tattoos they let you know like it does get real tricky okay so boom I have that one on there now as you can see holds the wire in place so that way it doesn't come off all right and then I'm gonna go ahead and do this one too all right wrap this one around here you know positive and negative however it's supposed to be positive and negative all right and then let me cut off another piece of one of these Boom. As you can see. Okay. And then you're going to want to stick this one on there. All right. Just like this. And that's holding the wires on. All right. Okay. Now. This is what you use for your, your board that your, your, your motor is going to strap to. <clears throat> Toothbrush. Okay. I have a piece right here that I priorly already made. And as you can see, what we used to do is, I already put my candle out or whatnot, but you just burn it to where you have a nice flat surface piece like this. You take this part off. You know, and then where you want to line your board up at, you're going to actually take a pencil like this one right here. The number two pencils are the best because you can remove the eraser so easily like that. Okay. And then what you do is, is you actually put fire to this. Okay, like you would go like this, but not with a lighter. Then again, like I said, you'd have a candle. Okay, you actually put fire to this. And it's always good with number two pencils, which is what they give you. Okay, and you get this real hot, and then you just, you push down. Like I'll show y'all the beginning of it. But since I already have one made, I'm going to just go through with that one. And you just, you just basically are going to burn a hole with this metal piece. As you can see, it made a, it started making the hole right here. You can see the pattern of it. And you're going to burn it through both sides until the piece comes out or whatnot to where you're with a piece like this. It's going to look just like that. Okay, and like I said, I'm using things that we actually had to use. Okay, now once you have your thing like this, you go ahead and you get you a pen, kind of like this one right here that I already had took the thing off of. All right, and we're gonna use this as you know the tube that our needle would go into. So, I have one right here, <clears throat> the perfect one that I already have, and you know, it's going to just go in like this. It, it fits perfectly in the hole, you know, so that way when you put it in there, you know, you just, you do, it would go in like this. But first, we're going to tape our motor to the board. So... You know, we don't have rolls of tape in prison either, but, you know, you get enough tape due to the envelopes when you get your mail. So I'm going to put a couple pieces of tape right here just to get us going or whatnot. And then I'm going to go ahead and tape this, you know, to, you know, my board of my, of my tattoo gun. All right. Put this like this. One of the pieces almost came off. 
got to make sure those things are on there tight because you'll lose them in the middle of your tattoo session. You want to want that to happen. Okay. So, boom. All right. Now, I'm going to tape this to my, to my board, which is like this, as you know. Right here. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get some tape. Tape it to where it don't go nowhere. And like I said, this is just taping the head, the motor, right to where you really want it. So I'm going to measure it with this. Put this back in here like this. Boom. And then, of course, that's going to go like that. All right. So then we have this to go on that. All right. I'm going to tape it on there real good. So that way we ain't got to worry about it coming off for the rest of the video. Okay, so like I said, you just want to go ahead and tape this on there. That's it. You just want to tape it. Have it nice and secured. You know. You can use rubber bands. You know, there's, there's a bunch of things you can use to put around it to hold it in place. But you know, tape's just a more common you know, that you're actually gonna come across tape in there, you know? So, boom. All right. It's starting to come together. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna go ahead and break off a piece of a uh, nail filer. All right. Like that. And I'm going to actually make a hole in it. And I can push this right on here. Like that. Just like that. Wait, hold on, let me break it a little more. And we're going to use this. This is our sander. So this is basically what you use, which is the quickest way, you know, to sharpen your needles. You know, you got some tattooed uh, dudes, you know, different, different things for different people. It depends on what that tattoo man likes. You know, it's all about sterilization. So it's all on how, how, you know, how they want it done, how they like to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. Now I showed you on a prior video, you make battery packs. Okay, this time, all I made was a battery tower. And it's, it's three batteries stacked on top of each other. Which, I can make another one for y'all if y'all want. I, um, I use this right here, which is just a piece of a folder. Which is a common thing in prison. And I just took a piece of it. You know, it's nothing major, you know. And, um... What you do is, is you just roll the batteries. You make a, a three-battery three, three battery tower. You need at least three batteries. And um, what you do is, is you just, you know, you just you just roll it up and make you a nice, nice tight tower. You know, like this. Which it isn't no biggie. It's not that hard. Okay. You go like this. Make a nice tower to where it holds them all together. All right. Get you a piece of tape. You know, just to hold yourself. Just to give you the extra hand. Boom. And then this here is so it's running on batteries. Same thing as a battery pack, but this is called a battery tower. And um, this is what we used to make or whatever. Tattoo men usually charge you whatever they're charging you along with batteries to run the tattoos. So um, 
This is it really right here. This is a battery tower. Okay. And um, you can't really go wrong with it. Like from, you know, my ex like experience. I've never went wrong with a tower. You know, you can actually run, you can actually run it off of an MP too, if you also want, you know, like you can have an MP3 player and those already have the prongs set up for positive and negative. And then you can run it off of that if you really wanted to. So go ahead and get this nice and firm, nice and tight. Boom. Just like that. Just so it looks just like this one. They're identical, okay? Now, what I wanna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and get my needles ready, all right? And what I'm gonna do to get my needles ready is, I'm gonna go ahead and use my motor, and I'm gonna hook my motor up to My, my 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 stick to my you know what I'm saying my tower and if you look you see it jumped that means it'll go okay so what I'm gonna do here now is is I'm gonna tape this to the bottom of this tower just like this all right and um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on. Just because sterilization is the number one thing you wanna be calm about in prison. You know, don't ever let no one give you a tattoo unless you know where them needles were or you know they weren't used on no one else. You know, the whole nine. But I'm gonna go ahead and put these gloves on because this ink can get messy when you take it out of a pen. All right, and I double this hand. And I'll show you in a minute why. All right. Let's see. Okay. All right, and now, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna go ahead and tape this one to the other end of my stick. And now when I do this, y'all hear it going. All right? back on there like this and we can get this session going and as you see I have my sandpaper wheel going so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my needle that I have right here And um, I'm going to use the tip of it. I'm going to use this to sharpen my needle. But I actually got to break the tip of this needle real quick one more time. Which is just to be sure. Boom. And this, my friend, this is how you sharpen your needle. Let me show you all this. As you can see. There we go. You all see it? This is how you sharpen your needle. Like I said, this ain't nothing but 
a nail filer. And this is how you make your needle real sharp. And it's the quick way too. There's no quicker way than this. Get it nice and sharp. Nice and sharp. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and take this off of here. All right. Now that we have a needle, a little decent. Okay, we're gonna get back to this now. That goes inside on the front up here. Okay, which we know is the, um, this is the barrel. This is what goes inside of my board, okay? All right. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab one of these, which is the thing inside of a big pen, and you're gonna cut it, you're gonna cut a piece of it. You can do half, you can do as much as you feel like me, I already cut it. I cut it about this big. All right, you see, I cut it. So that way, when I stick this back in here like this, that's what it's going off of. All right, and not to mention, if you could see the very tip here, you could see in the tip. This one you can't, because at the end of every pen, there is a ball inside here, and you grab your toenail clippers, and you just take the ball out. Like it, the ball is what holds the ink, and that's what rolls out with the ink. So you know, you just, you just, you know, you just grab it with the ball. I mean, with the toenail clippers. Like that. All right. I'm trying to show you all the ball. Right there. Look at the ball. If you could see it. See the ball? All right. And now look, it's starting to leak. Because that's what is holding the ink in. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and trash that though to save ourselves a mess because I already have one that's in here with the ball missing. Of course, it's gonna be way 100 times cleaner or whatever. I'm just trying to show y'all the quickest we're out, I'm showing you how to make it, all right? So once you cut it like that, you blow all the ink out and everything, you wash it real good, you know, or whatever, and then it's gonna look like this. As you see, I got most of the ink out already. All right, now this goes in here like this, you know, this goes, I'm going to do my needle first. All right, I have my needle right here. A lot of this is going to end up coming off, probably like that much. All right, you want it to be long enough to go in, so when you stick it in here, It'll come out the very tip, which is right in here. Because that tip is what you really need it to come out at. That's the hole to where that's the hole. All right, so you stick it in here. And then it should be able to come out of the tip. All right. All right. Y'all see? It came through the front end because I pulled the ball out. See it? All right. That's it. And now what you're going to do is... I'm going to wipe off some of this ink that came out with it. Just so that way y'all can see it better. Okay. And now that I have the needle sticking out, you know, it's going to go like this. And then this is going to go inside here. 
like that. All right. Now, I'm going to stick this in here like this. However I need it. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap this around the same place that I had my board on. Okay. It's 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 crazy like how you know you get tattoos done and everything in prison. It's just it's it's really mind blowing, you know, but it, it happens. It literally and it'll never stop. There's no way to stop it. It's literally that's what it is. And it's gonna continue to be like that. This is something that will never stop because so many people get it. I got my whole sleeve done for a case of ramen noodle soup. That's 24 soups, which is only like $16 in prison. You know, you can't you can't beat the prices. You know, cuz everybody's trying to make money. You know? So you, you you literally can't beat the price. There's no beating it and you know it passes time. There's literally like no way to not pass time when you're getting tattoos. All right. So now that I have this like this, I'm gonna go ahead and straighten this on out just to get it back how it was. Drop the fucking <laughs> All right. And like I said, there's more than one way to do this. I'm not the first on the internet to show it. But I just want to show there's more than one way. You know? And the reason I got my gloves on is because it does get messy. Okay. Now, I'm going to stick this back through here. back through the board, boom, okay, and then I'm going to pull it back this way, wrap that around there, and you know, you want you don't want your needle hanging out too much, you never want it to, because then you would dig, and you would scar a person. like that this has got to be wrapped around here so that way you don't want your needle flying all around all messed up and shit you want it to where it's nice and firm to where it ain't coming out and then once you get this on here like that Okay, you're going to want to get another piece of this pen. Another one of these pieces right here, like at the end. Just to be sure. Like this. By you taking that off, this is what's going to hold the needle from coming off on here, on the board. Because, you know, you don't want your needle flying around. Everybody knows that. So you really just need it to where you got the needle sticking out the end. And you want to put this over here like this. Like that. Keep getting this shit stuck on my glove, but it's all right. And then once you wrap the needle around that, 
like that. Then you grab this little piece that we just took off. So it's wrapped around there. And then you're gonna flatten this a little bit just so that way it's sturdy. And then you do that so that way when you stick it on here, once you stick it on here, it's easier to, um, hold on, that's it. Let me take this glove off. Had it with it. All right, hold on, let's do this shit again. We're gonna get this shit right this time. Fuck it, gotta get dirty. Gotta get dirty. Fuck it. Gotta get dirty. Boom. There's that. Alright. And now, straighten the rest of this on out. You know, a lot of people get dug up in prison. Because they don't know what the hell they're doing. And they don't know what the hell they're getting. They just be going with the best price. When yeah, okay, you know, you never want to go with just the best price. Because you got some people in there that really don't know how to do shit. You know? So, now that I have this, boom. It was the gloves that was fucking me up. Okay, now that I have this, oh, okay, that duh. That does go in there. Okay, there we go. There it is. Okay, did y'all see the needles right there? The damn gloves are holding me back a little bit. All right, and now we're gonna put this in here like that, boom. And now we're gonna back it on up, back it on up. And then we're gonna loop it. Just like, hold up. So this is, you know, you don't want it popping off when you're using it because it'll suck. I actually had a tattoo man give me a couple tattoos and one time it, that shit kept popping off and I kept saying it to him. I'm like, bro, why you don't have nothing on top of the thing? And he's like, are you the one getting the tattoos or are you the one that's doing the tats? I said, shit, I know how to do them both. You know what I'm saying? So, God damn, what the hell was that banging on? Tell him I'm the one in there. I said, I know how to do them both. I ain't no rookie to this shit. You know? All right. Now you're going to grab your little piece. Let's take this piece from the bottom of the pen again. Right here on this shit. Should have grabbed it with my other hand. This one's got gloves on. But um, I remember being in dorms. The whole dorm would get tatted by one guy. You know, that's where the money's at. All of them would have scars. All of them be scarred up. You know, and in my eyes, I'm like, God damn, how many y'all, you know, how many y'all does he got to scar up for y'all to realize that he ain't the fucking dude to be doing getting tats from? But you know, everybody wanted the way they want it, so... You know? And then everybody walking around looking stupid. Like, yeah, it's the tat man's fault, but not the first, I mean, the first five times, but after it done, after 20, y'all done got tattoos from the man. How's it his fault now? It ain't his fault. It's y'all's fault now. Y'all knew that man didn't know how to fucking tat. Okay, boom, we have that in there. All right. 
right? Took a little longer than before, but it's all right. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how it goes. You're gonna go ahead and wrap this, like I showed y'all before. Positive with the positive, with the negative and the negative. You know, this goes over here on this side right here. You're gonna twirl this on up. Everything's so much harder with gloves on. It's, 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 it's crazy. All right. Try to stay as clean as possible for this video, but it is what it is. As long as y'all get to see what y'all came to see. All right. Put this on here like this. Boom, alrighty. Now that we have all this in line, what I wanna do now before I even get it going is I do wanna put my gloves back on. Because it's easier. And the reason I double this hand right here is because take this top one I take this top glove and I uh, I bite a little hole in it. you know like right here maybe like right here and I bite a little hole in it like that and the reason I do that is because I like to stick this in here I stick this in here The damn glove broke. I should have put them on like that anyway. Here, let's do it like this. It's just easier. And um, I bite a little hole in the glove on purpose. And that's actually what holds, that's what holds my, uh, my tower, like that, okay? And then I stick this in here like this. Gotta be careful though, because these are some cheap ass gloves. Stick them in there like that, okay? Hook this back up to this one more time, which the thing came off again. And um, it's actually easier than it looks. You know, it ain't like, oh my God, it's taking forever, which yeah, I know, but it is what it is. Whatever's getting the job done is going to get the job done. Okay, so we have that one there. Now, this is how it's going to look. Which, I broke my glove too much, but anyways. Let me go like this. Let me take this glove off real quick. Fuck that. These ain't the same gloves that are in the chain gang, but either way it'll work. I'm gonna just show y'all right now how you just hook this up. Okay. And now once I connect this to this, like that, and then I connect this back to this end, this tattoo gun is good to go. I see make people make a killing. I mean, literally a killing. There it is, y'all. I seen people make a killing. I mean, literally. Like literally a killing. In prison. 
off tattoos. And this is coming from a guy that isn't a tattoo man. I wasn't in there tatting people. Or was I? But anyways, there you have it. And then this would be on top of your glove. You know, it would be wrapped around your glove. Your glove would be holding it. And as you see, that's him. That's it. You can pull this out a little longer like that. And boom. Homemade tattoo gun, man, with a battery tower. Made out of a toothbrush, a big pen, and the motor that goes inside of a, a shaver. Yep, homemade shit. It's K-Frog TV, man. Zone with